Hi, this is Amr Abdigawad, and uh, this lecture is about Freiberg infraction. So what are the objectives for this lecture? Uh, we would like to explain the pathology, the clinical presentation, and the x-ray uh, pictures of uh, Freiberg infraction, and also we're going to speak about the tra treatment strategy for this condition. A good source that you can use in general for pediatric orthopedic is this book written by myself and Dr. Nagan. Let's discuss the pathology of Freiberg infraction first. Uh, Freiberg infraction is misnomer. Um, when Freiberg first described the condition, he thought it may be related to uh, injury or insult, uh, so he called infraction, which basically means altercation. Uh, however, we know now that um, uh, Freiberg is an osteochondrosis uh, of the metatarsal head. Osteochondrosis is a group of disorder that affects the growth plate and the surrounding ossification center. Uh, it includes collar disease, uh, sever disease, uh, uh, Osgood Schlatter. Uh, we have a separate videos for uh, each of uh, these conditions. Uh, and uh, osteochondrosis basically means affection of the growth plate and the surrounding ossification center. So uh, if you look here, this is the growth plate of the third, this is the growth plate of the fourth metatarsal, this is the uh, epiphysis of the fourth, this is the epiphysis of the third, uh, we sometimes call the head of the metatarsal. Uh, uh, this is the um, second metatarsal in which this is the growth plate and this is the head. If you see there is a collapse uh, and affection of the ossification in this area. So this is an osteochondrosis of the metatarsal head and this is what's called Freiberg infraction. Uh, it's more common in adolescent girl and it's more, com more, more common in the second metatarsal. So most uh, Freiberg have it happen in the second metatarsal. Uh, however, uh, some cases happen in the third uh, far less common is the fourth metatarsal. The clinical presentation of Freiberg infraction, it's pain and swelling um, in the forefoot. They, that pain and swelling will be localized at the area of the osteochondrosis. So in most cases, it will be at the second toe, the base of the second toe, where the osteochondrosis is. Uh, and also there will be pain with weight-bearing activities. So this is uh, the clinical picture of one of my patients. She's an 11 year old female and she has a four foot pain. When I examined her, there is uh, some mild swelling over the base of the third toe. I'm going to show you the X-ray in the next uh, uh, slide. Uh, when you press here at the uh, metatarsophalangeal joint, the uh, patient feels pain and there is a mild swelling in this area. Uh, so this is the clinical picture of uh, Freiberg infraction, but in this case it's affecting the third uh, uh, metatarsal head. As we said, most cases actually affect the second metatarsal, however there is some cases that affect the third metatarsal head. So this is the x-ray of the patient that we just uh, show. Uh, if you see here, this is the third metatarsal epiphysis showing uh, signs of osteochondrosis. I'd like you to look to the second metatarsal and the fourth metatarsal. These are normal looking. In the third, if you compare, there is more sclerosis and there is a flattening um, of the epiphysis. So this is osteochondrosis of the third metatarsal or as we called Freiberg infraction. <clears throat> Uh, please note that most cases of Freiberg infraction occurs in the second metatarsal. However, there are some cases that happen in the third metatarsal like this patient. This is an oblique picture of the same patient. You can see here is a normal looking second metatarsal, normal looking fourth metatarsal. In this one, you see flattening here, so it's not rounded as the second or the fourth, and you see sclerosis. So this is osteochondrosis uh, or Freiberg infraction. So this is an x-ray of another patient of mine. He's a 14-year-old male uh, with a long history of forefoot pain localized over the base of the second toe. If you can see the x-ray here, obviously the second metatarsal head uh, has changed uh, of osteochondrosis. This is a normal metatarsal head. This is a normal metatarsal head. Here you can see fragmentation uh, and flattening. You can see this uh, more obviously in the oblique view. You can see the fragmentation here, this small piece. Uh, it tells you that a fragment of, uh, of the head has been separated. Uh, there is also here uh, uh, osteochondrosis and collapse and uh, sclerosis of the metatarsal head. So this is also an x-ray picture of Freiberg infraction of the second metatarsal. So what's the treatment of Freiberg infraction? Uh, most cases can be managed uh, non-surgically uh, using metatarsal pad. Uh, it's like a cushion underneath the metatarsal head to decrease the stresses on the metatarsal head. Uh, also, you can use well-padded shoes. Uh, as we said, this condition is more common in female, uh, so uh, uh, always advise to avoid the high heel uh, because this um, will decrease the stresses uh, on the metatarsal uh, head. Uh, 
Uh, rarely, uh, some cases will require surgery. The surgery is uh, to remove the loose body from the joint, as we're going to see in the next example. So uh, I would like to show you this case. This is uh, one of the rare cases that needed surgical treatment. So this is a 14-year-old uh, patient. Uh, if you can see here, his, uh, here is the swelling over the base of the second toe. Uh, it has been going on for about one year. The x-ray showed loose fragmentation here uh, of the uh, head of the uh, second metatarsal. Uh, you can see also in the MRI, uh, there is a change in the signal of the uh, metatarsal head. Uh, and there is a collapse here of the metatarsal head and the joint uh, and also uh, uh, the loose fragments. Uh, so uh, after a long discussion with this patient, he was a candidate for removal of these uh, loose fragments and that's what we did for him. So because the symptoms of this patient were uh, persistent, decision was taken for removal of the loose fragments. So we uh, took the patient to the OR, we did a dorsal incision, and we removed uh, the dorsal fragment within the joint. Uh, as we said before, uh, this is not the common treatment. In most cases of Freiberg infraction can be managed non-operative, as we said, with metatarsal pad uh, or uh, well-padded uh, 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 shoes and avoid high heels. Thank you. All my, all my videos are for educational purpose only. Please consult your doctor before any decision.